Hello everyone, welcome to the live session. So guys, today we are having a very important session in which we are going to discuss some of the important tricks for solving the questions of Hamiltonian and Lagrangian. So I hope that this session will help you to make a good command on these topics which are very 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 important topics of classical mechanics but at any point of time if you will have any doubt you will let me know about that and we will do the discussion about all those points or I will try to make the things clear to you. Clear? So guys now before starting the discussion about all those important tricks which we will cover in today's session I would like to tell you about the iAcademy Plus subscription and then quickly we will start the discussion. Uh, very good afternoon Mohammed Riyaj and very good afternoon everyone. Now guys let's start the discussion. So I hope most of you are already familiar with the benefits of taking the Unacademy Plus subscription and how Unacademy Plus subscription and the courses going on there can help you a lot in your preparation. So guys there are so many courses going on for your exam preparation on Unacademy Plus which will surely help you all to take your preparation to the next level. Along with this guys if I'm going to talk about the uh, benefits you will get after taking the Unacademy Plus subscription. So there are so many benefits you will get like uh, you will get the very well structured and the well planned courses which will surely help you to take your preparation to the next level and to do the best preparation for the exam. Weekly quizzes will be there, doubt clearing sessions will be there, recordings of the live classes will be available to you, mock tests will be there, PDF of important notes will be available to you and you can attend all the courses for your exam preparation whatever courses will be going on there you can attend all those courses by all the top educators so yeah you are going to get to know about so many important tricks concepts and many important topics also guys there is one more benefit you can get that is by using the referral code actually a live either you can use this referral code or by using the referral code actually Aurora any one of the referral codes you can use either this one you just need to write them as it is first a capital all other alphabets in a small no space in between okay or by using this referral code anyone but you have to write them as it is and by applying the referral code you will get the 10 percent discount in the total unacademy plus subscription amount clear very good afternoon devajani also guys what are the steps to take the subscription let me just tell you about that so Initially, you will download the Unacademy Learning app, then log into the app, then select your goal. After selecting your goal, your goal will be CSI or UGC net. If you are preparing for CSI or net physics exam or any category CSI or net exam, then your goal will be CSI or UGC net. Then in the app, you will have three lines in the left hand side like this. Click on those three lines, then click on plus and then click on get subscription and just by following the further steps you will easily be able to take the Unacademy Plus subscription. Also guys, the referral code when you will write you also need to apply it. In front of that referral code place you will have apply written there. Click on apply and get the 10% discount on the total Unacademy Plus subscription amount and you can use any one of the referral codes both will work. Okay, now there are so many courses going on for your exam preparation. So if you want to attend all these courses and their live classes, okay, and many other courses are there, you can check them in the Unacademy Learning app once, okay, so you can take the Unacademy Plus subscription and you can attend the live classes of all these co courses which are going on and which will start soon. Also guys, let me just show you one more important presentation here, that is this one, that you can crack CSR or UGC net with uh, the Unacademy Plus courses and with the guidance of all the top educators we are having on Unacademy Plus what you will get after taking the subscription daily live classes like this and quizzes structured courses unlimited access clear then live classes by all the top educators will be there even the spatial classes are there which you can attend okay then we are having the courses by all the top educators then subscription amounts okay for different duration subscription if you will take so what are the subscription amounts we are having there clear so that's how you can get to know about these things very easily uh, from this presentation and if you will have any doubt anywhere you can tell me about it now let's start the discussion about the 
a discussion we are going to do today in this session that is about the tricks of Lagrangian and Hamiltonian. Clear? So guys, Debajani, uh, since it is classical mechanics class, so we will take the questions of atomic and molecular physics, but in atomic and molecular physics sessions, okay, or the classes. So very good afternoon, Ashley. Very good afternoon, Vikram. And very good afternoon, everyone. So guys, now let's start the discussion about the important tricks of Lagrangian and Hamiltonian. Okay. There are so many tricks corresponding to these topics clear so one by one i will tell you many done now i hope some of the tricks you know and it will be then a kind of revision for you but you may even get to know about many new tricks here done so let's start so first of all what i will do i will let you know about the tricks and after that what we will do if we will have more time we will give you some like we will do some questions from the previous years and we will apply the tricks there clear so let's just start now see guys first of all why tricks are important for our exam why we need to know about the tricks so basically once you are getting to know about the tricks they are going to help you to solve the questions in less time okay so you will be able to solve the questions in very less time in just few seconds okay and you will be sure like yeah this is going to be the right answer and tricks are what tricks are just the general condition you consider and what answer you are getting corresponding to that that's the trick clear how this is how the tricks we get now let's just start the discussion and let me just tell you about the first very important trick from the Lagrangian and Hamiltonian part. Guys, first of all, if you are familiar with this thing that what is Lagrangian? Lagrangian is nothing but it is just T minus V. For any system, we can write Lagrangian. Okay, where T is kinetic energy, V is potential energy. And Lagrangian will be a function of generalized coordinate and generalized velocity. Done. After this, if I'm going to talk about Hamiltonian it is nothing but it is T plus V but there is a difference now you can't directly write if you know the kinetic energy if you know the potential energy you can't directly write the Hamiltonian after just changing a sign in the Lagrangian no why no because guys here it is going to be a function of generalized coordinate and generalized momentum while Lagrangian was the function of generalized coordinate and generalized velocity clear very good afternoon Bishwabhya done now next if I'm going to talk about next point so what is that trick with which we can write these things so guys for applying the trick and this is not only for doing the conversion or not only for those kind of questions in which they have given you uh, Lagrangian and they are asking you to find the Hamiltonian not only for those questions this trick will work but in the other questions in which they give you some Lagrangian and they ask you to find the Hamilton's equation of motion. Even in that, the intermediate step is going to be uh, that you have to find the Hamiltonian first, then you will write the Hamilton's equation of motion. So there also this trick can help you a lot. But how? So what is the trick? First of all, let me just tell you about that quickly. See guys, if any time you know the Lagrangian, clear? And you are able to find the kinetic energy term okay or potential energy term separately let's say 1 upon 2 m x dot square minus m g h or m g uh, let's say y clear if this kind of expression is given to you now guys what will happen this is what this is lagrangian okay are you able to get the Lagrangian the, the kinetic energy present in the Lagrangian that what term is telling you about the kinetic energy and what term is telling you about the potential energy if yes then you can use this trick I'm going to tell you so here it is possible for you to tell like okay this will be kinetic energy and this will be potential energy very good Vikram now next thing is what is the 
part or the step of the trick we will take you will compare the kinetic energy with half m v square which is given in the lagrangian if you know about the lagrangian expression and if you are able to understand like okay this term is a kinetic energy term present in lagrangian compare it with half mv square and after comparing get the value of m from there what is the value of m you are getting here let's say this is m dash or just m so here m is equal to m you are getting clear this is your first step you have to take and you don't need to worry about the second one that is mg y you don't need to worry about that clear it is just an example i have written why because both are functions of coordinate okay the second term is different but first thing the coordinate is same clear so you are getting the value of mass that is equal to mass after that guys you need to do one thing if you want to write the hamiltonian corresponding to given lagrangian you will just write the kinetic energy for that as p square upon 2m okay and whatever value of m you have got from this you just need to put it here in place of m and keep plus mgy that's your hamiltonian this is how quickly you can just do the conversion from lagrangian to hamiltonian clear do you want me to give you some question based on this trick where you can apply it or let me just summarize it for you see lagrangian is given look at the terms present there identify the kinetic energy and potential energy separately if you are able to do that you can use the trick in the kinetic energy term compare half mv square in the given lagrangian get the value of m from there in the hamiltonian when you will write you just need to consider p square upon 2m and put the value of m there and then you can easily get like okay this is the new hamiltonian clear okay guys you want me to discuss the example let's talk about some questions from the previous years and let me just give you some examples in which we will apply this trick okay one more thing one more thing is like if you know the hamiltonian okay let's say hamiltonian is given to you and you want to find the lagrangian with that and in the hamiltonian you are able to identify kinetic energy separately and the potential energy separately so what do you have to do you have to compare the kinetic energy let's say it is p square m okay upon 2 and then you are having uh, plus mg x okay let's say this is something you have got now guys what you will do you will compare this with p square upon 2m and whatever value of m you will get from here after comparing okay in the hamiltonian you you have to compare the kinetic energy term with p square upon 2m and after comparing get m whatever value of m you are getting in the lagrangian when you will write you just need to write the potential and uh, kinetic energy in this way that is half mv square minus v and that's how you can simply get the lagrangian let me just give you some example from the previous year questions so that you will easily be able to relate it and will be able to get how it's going to work and how you will get the answer quickly just a second i'm going to give you some question based on this in which either lagrangian or hamiltonian will be given yeah i've got that question so guys are you ready to solve the question okay be ready and here is your first question which you will do or you will try to do with the trick get to know about this thing whether you can do it with trick or not if you will have any doubt or difficulty will let me know this is from the previous years and the question is And you will see how easy it will become for you to solve it just in very less time. Fix point O.
length not L, it is A. This should be a straight line clear like this then you will have This angle is theta. This is A. It's rotation shown here. This is O. This axis is Z. That's the information given in the figure. The Lagrangian of the particle is minus mga cos theta where theta and phi are the polar angles let me just find it here the Hamiltonian of the particle is options are you can try it once guys very good saroj actually that was just an expression Clear? That was just an example. So you may have even the different kind of expressions given to you. So you don't need to worry about that. Very good, Ashley. What about others, guys? These are the options. Very good physics. What about others guys? 
Yeah, Vikram, here are the options. Very good, Dilip. Okay, two different answers now. Option A and option B. Clear, some of the students are saying option A is correct. Some are saying option B is correct. So let's see which one will be correct exactly. Very good, Vikram. Okay, uh, now we are having three students saying option B is correct and two are saying option A is correct. What about others? I'm just going to tell you in just some time. So, waiting for more answers, guys. Once you will get the answer, let me know. Or should we start the discussion? Okay, so let me just tell you about this thing. The right answer is option B, but how you will get it? Let's talk about it once. See, as I've told you, first step is, are you able to identify the kinetic energy terms and uh, potential energy terms separately? Like this is kinetic, this is potential energy. Is this possible in the given expression of Lagrangian right now? And even the Hamiltonian will be there, the first step will remain same. To identify the kinetic and potential energy terms separately. Is this possible in this case? I think yes. The first, this, this, these terms are representing kinetic energy. Since it is Lagrangian and Lagrangian is a function of generalized coordinate, generalized velocity. Okay. So in this, whenever we look at the kinetic energy, we compare in the Lagrangian, we compare the kinetic energy with half mv square. Okay. So if I will compare it with half mv square, so here v is having two values theta dot and phi dot okay theta dot square is representing v square as well as phi dot square is representing v square so should i like i should write it like on the next slide to make it more clear to you that is l is equal to half m a square theta dot square then plus sine square theta phi dot square then you are having minus mga cos theta guys is this clear to everyone till this point everything is clear if you are having any doubt you can tell me about it but let me know till this point everything is clear to everyone i've just noted down the expression is this clear or not no reply yet Okay, is everything fine? Audio, video, slides, everything is all right. And if yes, let's continue then. Theek hai sab kuch? Okay, chaliye continue karte hai, fir See guys, so what you need to do, you need to compare in the kinetic energy terms. Okay, first of all, to make it more simple and easy and for you to understand it more clearly, I can even write it in this form. That is half m a square sine square theta and phi dot square minus m g a cos theta i hope you all are getting that this first term half m v square this is m in the second term half m v square this is m okay and v is here theta dot and here phi dot is this okay you just need to uh, like tell me quickly like yeah it's fine or not Aman, Aman, uh, what is not clear? Answer or is there any doubt or difficulty in the uh, audio video slides? Anything like that? Okay, so guys, you have got to know about the values of M. Clear? That is going to be MA square in this case and MA square sine square theta in this case. Now you know, now you know that when you write the Hamiltonian, you write the Hamiltonian as p square upon 2m. But corresponding to the velocity theta, clear theta dot, you will have the momentum p theta present here. So p theta square upon 2m. And what was the m you have got? ma square, put it here, plus p theta square, again p square upon 2m, but p will be p phi now. So p phi square upon 2m. What is m? 2 ma square sine square theta 
because that was complete term showing you m clear now next plus v plus v why because h is equal to t plus v clear now guys yeah i mean wherever you are having any doubt you can mention and you can let me know about it okay so initially in the starting of today's session i have discussed one trick and that trick now we are applying in the question so if you have missed the starting part of the session you may not be able to get it right now so let me know did you attend the session from the starting or you are attending it from now only clear because the starting mein maine isko pehle explain kiya hai aur uske baad mein hum us cheez ko apply kar rahe hain question pe theek hai so guys let me know is this clear to everyone now till this point now you can do one thing take 1 upon 2 ma square common and you will get p theta square plus p phi square upon sin square theta plus mga cos theta so p theta square plus p phi square upon sin square theta will be there so you can see it's present here plus mga cos theta is here so that's how option b is correct is this clear to everyone now guys and if there is any doubt or difficulty anybody is having let me know clear and this was the trick which we have discussed in the starting of the session and by using this trick we have solved that question very good vikram what about others guys is this clear and if you will let me know about it quickly we can just talk about the next point then or we can start the discussion about next point so is this clear or not so this was the first trick guys clear now second trick and i hope you will be easily be able to do the conversion from hamiltonian to lagrangian as well by using this trick okay you will practice some of the questions based on these tricks more and more questions okay even you can try with the previous year questions you will get a clear idea okay now let's talk about the second trick is that okay or you want to solve more questions based on it you want to do more questions or should we talk about the second trick and guys just just few students are participating in the discussion actively they are replying quickly they are telling me like okay it's clear or it is not clear but many students are not replying clear so guys please try to let me know about your doubts or whatever thing is not clear to you or whether it is clear to you you can tell me about it clear so that quickly we will take the next step and we will talk about the next thing done ha huh. yes guys see ashley there the kinetic energy was just let me just show you this expression ashley are you talking about this are you talking about this i think yes let me know i will make it clear to you ha yes vikram Ashley are you talking about this one this expression i have written did you mention for the same expression see in the questions clear when you get the expressions of kinetic energy or potential energy they may give you some different expressions so it may not be exactly like p square upon 2m let's say this is given to you okay this is the hamiltonian i am saying it is given to you in the question it's not something i have written or you will write no clear so in this case what will happen you will write or you will compare it with p square upon 2m and you are comparing let's say i'm taking in the formula it's p square upon 2 capital m so when you will compare the given expression that is p square upon m upon 2 with this what is going to be m here then you need to get this m value which is a formula clear so for that you want to the value of m so m is equal to nothing but 1 upon small m this is something you will get with the uh, we can say comparison clear you know, whatever they will give you that's okay but after comparing you will have to find the value of capital m is that getting clear ashley so it doesn't matter whatever form they will give you we will do the comparison with this main formula when the hamiltonian is given okay and then we will write the capital m value or the mass value and when we want to write the lagrangian that m value we will put here 
yeah that was just an example now you are having some doubt in this uh, actually let me know about your doubt in this lagrangian case whenever you are having lagrangian given to you clear lagrangian is a function of generalized coordinate and velocity and the kinetic energy of lagrangian you compare with half mv square kinetic energy of lagrangian you compare with half mv square this is the formula i have put here this is the formula of kinetic energy and that was example jo question mein aapko kuch bhi diya ho sakta hai theek hai formula to yahi rehta hai formula will not get changed when you will do the, do the comparison you have to do it with this yeah that will be 1 upon 2 m that was just i have mentioned the formula i didn't put the value here यहाँ पर मैंने सिर्फ फॉर्मूला मेंशन किया था कि जो भी m मिलेगा ना मैंने वैल्यू तो लिखी नहीं ठीक है यहाँ पर मैंने m तो लिखा ही नहीं था तो मैंने आपको कहा जो भी m मिलेगा ना आप उसको यहाँ पर पुट करेंगे एंड दैट्स हाउ यू विल गेट लेगरेंजियन सो आई हैव लेफ्ट दिस विद द फॉर्मूला ओनली एंड आई वॉन्टेड यू टू कंसिडर दैट वैल्यू ऑफ एम फ्रॉम देयर एंड पुट इट हेयर इन द लेगरेंजियन एंड दैट्स हाउ यू विल गेट द राइट आंसर इज दैट क्लियर आशली so here i have kept it blank because we didn't talked about it further but the steps i was i was clearing to you theek hai steps clear hai comparison karna hai find karna hai and then just put in the kinetic energy formula for whatever you want to find lagrangian or hamiltonian just put it there still if you will have any doubt you will let me know okay and i will talk about it clear so i have mentioned the formula only not the answer for that example guys next trick if lagrangian is given to you clear if lagrangian is given to you clear next thing in this case if you want to know that which of the following like px py or both uh, px and py okay or none is conserved so for that i'm going to give you one expression first then i will tell you the trick let's say l is given to you that is half m now you want to check which of the following will be conserved quantity or constant of motion how you can check it easily so do you know that trick that it's so simple and easy and you can just quickly quickly get the answer for it okay if you know that's very good if you don't know i am going to tell you about it any time if the lagrangian is given to you like i have written the lagrangian here if the lagrangian is given to you and in this lagrangian you will have to take a kind of attendance जैसे क्लास में अटेंडेंस होती है ना ठीक है तो उस केस में क्या हो जाएगा यू हैव टू टेक द अटेंडेंस ऑफ जनरलाइज कोऑर्डिनेट्स जनरलाइज कोऑर्डिनेट्स आर द कोऑर्डिनेट्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ विच वी राइट द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर एनी गिवन सिस्टम सो लेट्स टेक द अटेंडेंस ऑफ दैम एक्स नॉट प्रेजेंट एक्स डॉट प्रेजेंट वाई प्रेजेंट वाई डॉट प्रेजेंट क्लियर नाउ यू हैव टेकन द अटेंडेंस and you don't need to worry about some rest of the things because there are like there are direct formula then they will help us if something else is given but if this kind of situation will be there you will easily be able to get the answer now what i mean by this kind of situation so when you have taken the attendance of generalized coordinates and you have got to know about this thing that which coordinate is present and whose derivative is also present so guys do you want to know the story to memorize this fact that how you have taken the attendance and what this attendance is telling you basically it is telling you that x is cyclic x is cyclic which is also known as ignorable cyclic ka other dusra naam kya hai ignorable coordinate so x is known as cyclic or ignorable coordinate that means it has been ignored okay so like a kind of a story first of all i want uh, to know about it from your side if you were not familiar with it and if you are not uh, sure or confident about this fact do you want me to tell you one story about it 
सो दैट आपको अच्छे से पता चल जाएगा कि कैसे ये साइक्लिक है ठीक है और आप कभी भी मिस्टेक नहीं करेंगे सो डू यू वॉन्ट मी टू टेल यू द स्टोरी जस्ट विक्रम वॉन्ट्स अवर्ड अबाउट अदर्स एंड डिपेंडिंग ऑन दिस थिंग हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू वॉन्ट द स्टोरी फॉर दिस इट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्लियर एंड आई विल टेल यू सो लेट मी नो इफ यू वॉन्ट हाँ देट ऑल्सो देर इज ऑल्सो अ कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ दैट काइंड बट मेनली टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ट्रिक्स तो वो भी मैं आपको बता रही हूँ ठीक है गाइज क्विकली टेल मी अबाउट दिस थिंग डू यू वॉन्ट द स्टोरी फॉर साइक्लिक एंड इग्नोरेबल कॉर्डिनेट्स टू गेट टू नो अबाउट दैम वेरी क्लियरली एवरी टाइम क्विक 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 रिप्लाई ओके आश्री वॉन्स ओके वट अबाउट अदर्स ओके दैट्स गुड नाउ आई हैव गॉट सम रिप्लाई दैट यू वॉन्ट दैट इज स्टोरी सो इट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड एज एज यू ऑल नो फिजिक्स इज वेरी इजी एंड वेन एवर यू लाइक इवन ऑल द सब्जेक्ट्स बट इट डिपेंड्स हाउ वी हैव अंडरस्टैंड हाउ वी हैव कंसिडर्ड इट ठीक है तो एक्चुअली इट्स वेरी ईजी सो गाइज वट हैपन नाउ यू नो इट इज नोन एज साइक्लिक और इग्नोरेबल कॉर्डिनेट एंड द कॉर्डिनेट whose derivative is only present and that itself is not present in the lagrangian expression that is known as cyclic coordinate but the point is the point is why it is so so now our story will start the story is that any time what happened once upon a time not any time once upon a time there was a party going on okay and lagrangian has arranged that party who has arranged the party लेग्रेंजियन हैज अरेंज दैट पार्टी ठीक है बहुत अच्छी पार्टी थी और बहुत कुछ बहुत अच्छा अच्छा था वहाँ पर ठीक है लाइक ऑल द गुड स्नैक्स फॉर देअर और बहुत लाइक वट एवर एवरी पर्सन कैन लाइक और सबको मोस्टली पसंद होती हैं वो सब स्नैक्स में था फूड आइटम्स थी डेकोरेशन वॉज वेरी गुड क्लियर ऑल द अरेंजमेंट्स वर वेरी वेल एंड वेरी गुड नाइसली डन क्लियर सो इन दैट पार्टी वट हैपन लेग्रेंजियन हैज इंस्ट्रक्टेड ओके अच्छा इसको हिंदी में एक विक्रम हिंदी में भी एक्सप्लेन कर दूंगी मैं ठीक है आपको एक बार क्विकली हिंदी में भी बता दूंगी तो उसमें क्या हुआ ना एक पार्टी थी बहुत अच्छी सी ठीक है उसमें क्या हुआ किसने अरेंज की थी लेग्रेंजियन ने अरेंज की पार्टी उस पार्टी में लेग्रेंजियन ने ना यहाँ पर जो सिक्योरिटी गार्ड्स थे ना एंट्रेंस uh, पर ठीक है उन सिक्योरिटी गार्ड्स को लेग्रेंजियन ने क्या दिया इंस्ट्रक्शंस दिए कि ना यू विल नॉट अलाउ द क्यू क्यू मीन्स जनरलाइज कॉर्डिनेट लेट से क्यू इज इक्वल टू एक्स दिस टाइम ठीक है यू विल नॉट अलाउ द एक्स टू एंटर इन दिस पार्टी क्या हुआ लेग्रेंजियन को ना एक्स मतलब एग्रेंजियन और एक्स की ना उतनी बातचीत नहीं थी उस टाइम पे या लेग्रेंजियन ने कहा कि एक्स को ना पार्टी में आने मत देना किसको कहा बॉडी गार्ड्स को ठीक है सो लेग्रेंजियन हैज इंस्ट्रक्टेड द बॉडी गार्ड्स दैट यू विल नॉट अलाउ एक्स टू एंटर इन दिस पार्टी क्योंकि बहुत अच्छी पार्टी थी और एक्स जाना चाहता था पार्टी में ठीक है बट एक्स वॉज लाइक नहीं मेरे को तो जाना है मेरे को तो इस पार्टी में जाना ही जाना है ओके तो क्या हुआ अब एक्स ऐसे तो जा नहीं सकता था बिकॉज लेग्रेंजियन ने स्ट्रिक्ट इंस्ट्रक्शंस दिए हुए थे बॉडी गार्ड्स को या सिक्योरिटी गार्ड्स को कि नहीं यू विल नॉट अलाउ एक्स टू एंटर इन दिस पार्टी सो नाउ एक्स वॉज वेरी स्मार्ट एंड एक्स हैज डन वन थिंग ही हैज चेंज हिज फॉर्म ओके और ही हैज जस्ट डन अ काइंड ऑफ मेक ओवर दैट नो बडी विल बी एबल टू आइडेंटिफाई दैट दिस इज एक्स क्लियर एंड वट काइंड ऑफ मेक ओवर एक्स हैज डन एक्स हैज got new clothes, something new, and X has become X dot. तो क्या हुआ X खुद तो जा नहीं सकता था तो X dot बन के अपना नया मेक ओवर करके नई ड्रेस पहन के ओके सो एक्स डॉट बन के वो पार्टी में चला गया ओके नाउ वट इज गोइंग टू हैपन द अदर थिंग विच वॉज अलाउड टू एंटर इन द पार्टी ओके दैट वॉज वाई सो वाई और वाई डॉट तो दोनों गए वाई ऐसे भी गया मेक ओवर करके भी गया क्लियर बट एक्स was not supposed to enter so it has just entered as x dot now in this case what is going to happen in this case lagrangian has ignored x completely okay lagrangian was doing one thing it was ignoring x and that's why x has to change its form and has to done some makeover and that's how he has entered in the party clear so it, that's why x is known as ignorable coordinate is that clear कि क्यों उसको खाली उसका डेरिवेटिव प्रेजेंट होता है एंड दैट विल नॉट बी प्रेजेंट इट्सल्फ 
एंड ऐसे कोऑर्डिनेट को हम क्या बोलते हैं इग्नोरेबल कोऑर्डिनेट और साइक्लिक कोऑर्डिनेट इफ यू आर एबल टू रिलेट विद द स्टोरी आई थिंक नाउ इट विल बी क्लियर टू यू दैट एनी टाइम इन द लेग्रेंजन इफ यू विल चेक इफ द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ एनी कोऑर्डिनेट इज प्रेजेंट एंड द कोऑर्डिनेट इट सेल्फ इज नॉट प्रेजेंट उसी को क्या बोला जाता है साइक्लिक या इग्नोरेबल कोऑर्डिनेट ठीक है और आई थिंक अभी आपको याद रहेगा विद दिस स्टोरी कि अच्छा इसको एंट्री नहीं मिल रही थी ना तो ये फॉर्म चेंज करके आया और इसको इग्नोर किया गया था ना इसलिए इसका नाम होता है इग्नोरेबल कोऑर्डिनेट या साइक्लिक कोऑर्डिनेट इज दिस क्लियर टू एवरी वन एंड आर यू गेटिंग इट क्लियरली दैट दैट कोऑर्डिनेट इट सेल्फ विल नॉट बी प्रेजेंट बट इट्स डेरीवेटिव विल बी देयर बिकॉज दैट कॉर्डिनेट इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी मच स्मार्ट Done. Now let's come back to the trick. The trick is once you will get to know about the cyclic coordinate present in the Lagrangian, its corresponding momentum, its corresponding momentum will be conserved. So that means what is the right answer for this question? Its corresponding momentum will be conserved. So what is the right answer? Which option is correct? Which is conserved or constant of motion? Option C is why ignorable. Actually, uh, basically the same thing is that that coordinate, generalized coordinate, has not been used to explain that system or to write the Lagrangian for that system. So that's a kind of same thing. that has been ignored and the name has been given like that okay otherwise you can see lagrangian is something we write as the motion of the particle or the system to explain the motion and the position or to explain that system clear so that's how the coordinate has not been used here and that's how we are not considering it to explain that system option a will be correct why because you can see corresponding to cyclic coordinate its momentum will be conserved so px will be conserved so a is correct is that okay guys and this is trick done clear one question based on it one more question mm in this expression of lagrangian i have written it here as well in this expression of lagrangian you need to tell me which one will be conserved or constant of motion for the same lagrangian given to you and quick answers because it's trick it will help you to answer just in few seconds Very good, Disha. Very good, Vikram. Very good, Sarita. Very good, Dilip. What about others? I think it should be clear to everyone. Just few answers I have received till now. What about others? If there is any doubt, anybody is having, let me know. Very good, Virin. Okay, you are saying A will be uh, conserved. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just explain this to you then. Sorry, the question I have changed. हाँ ये क्वेश्चन हो चुका है बट नाउ उसी क्वेश्चन के लेग्रेंजियन से मैंने आपको दूसरा क्वेश्चन पूछा है क्लियर इज दिस क्लियर गाइस वेरी गुड मोहम्मद फिरान डन सो गाइस यू नो वट इज द साइक्लिक कॉर्डिनेट इन दिस लेग्रेंजियन फॉर दिस सिस्टम वट इज द साइक्लिक कॉर्डिनेट विदाउट विच इवन यू कैन राइट द लेग्रेंजियन वट इज दैट साइक्लिक कॉर्डिनेट और इग्नोरेबल कॉर्डिनेट किस को पार्टी में एंट्री नहीं मिल रही थी इसमें से थीटा को या फाइव को क्योंकि दो ही है यहाँ पर थीटा एंड फाइव सो वो इज नॉट गेटिंग द एंट्री इन द पार्टी एज इट इज 
very good aman and who has done that makeover and new dress uh, he has like or even a new look he has taken to enter in the party theta theta ko entry nahi mil rahi thi party mein kya theta ko dekhi theta to aaya hai aise hi aaya hai theta theta ke jaise bhi aaya hai aur theta dot ban ke bhi aaya to theta ko to entry mil gayi kisko entry nahi mili phi very good ashley clear so phi was not getting the entry then phi has done something which makes him smarter clear so he has changed his form uh, his look okay and take a taken a new outlook clear and uh, has done the makeover and become phi dot and taken the entry in the party so phi is cyclic is that clear to so, फाइ क्या होगी साइकिल क्या इग्नोरेबल और इसके कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग जो मोमेंटम होगा दैट विल बी कंजर्व और कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ मोशन वेरी गुड अमन वेरी गुड मोहम्मद फिरान वेरी गुड दिलीप इज दिस क्लियर टू एवरी वन गाइज एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट ट्रिक्स यू कैन सी हाउ इजिली यू कैन आंसर गेट द आंसर फॉर दीज क्वेश्चन नाउ डन नेक्स्ट इज देर एनी डाउट एनी बडी इज हैविंग इन एनी ऑफ द ट्रिक्स हैव डिस्कस विद यू टल नाउ I think everything should be clear. How was the discussion, guys? Was it interesting and easy? How was the discussion about these tricks and the points? Easy, nahi tha? बिल्कुल इजी नहीं था आई थिंक इट्स इजी जस्ट प्रैक्टिस सम मोर क्वेश्चन क्लियर यू विल फाइंड इट इजी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ओके दैन दैन इट्स वेरी गुड क्लियर Let me just tell you about some more questions. Find Hamiltonian options are last one is 2l square okay answer just with these options or even option d i can write here with the trick you can easily answer it Yes, Anji. Most of the discussion we have done during the classes are in English. But any time if any student face difficulty in understanding in English, then we will discuss the things in Hindi. Otherwise, um, like almost you will get English explanation in all the classes. It's okay, Vikram. You will get uh, like get to know about this very well. Okay, uh, when you will practice some more questions. guys different different answers option b and option c waiting for more answers lagrangian is given you need to find the hamiltonian step number 1 okay now all the answers are option b till now very good vikram very good mohammed firan very good ashley very good dilip yeah that's very good guys very good aman so basically what you need to do you just need to compare the uh, first of all step number 1 we need to think 
are we able to get the kinetic energy and potential energy separately yes in this case we are able to relate it that is this is kinetic energy and this is potential energy clear so we need to and this is what this is lagrangian so we need to compare the kinetic energy with half mv square and we need to get this m m in this case will be ml square after getting m we just need to put uh, hamiltonian or we need to write the hamiltonian with p square upon 2m plus v clear v here is here v is the potential uh, uh, velocity and here v is the potential energy clear so this is plus v so you can see that in all the options v is same v has not been changed and also written as plus v but only the kinetic energy term is different so p square upon and that's to p theta p theta square upon 2 m what is m ml square so 2 ml square which is option b hence option b is correct and that's how quickly we can get the answer very good aman clear now one more trick guys so next trick if any time you are having the potential energy expression given to you in this way that is x plus 2y and you want to write the conserved quantity whether it is 2px minus py or it's minus 2px minus py or it is 2px plus py or it is px plus 2py what will be the conserved quantity or constant of motion corresponding to this potential energy if you want to know about this thing you should know about one trick what is that trick the trick is that initially write the momentum corresponding to these terms px py clear then interchange their coefficients to one then change any one of the sign so anyone either this sign or this sign anyone okay so i'm changing the center one even if i will change the first one it will become minus 2px plus py so this is also right this is also right whatever you will get in the options that's correct so we are having 2px minus py in the options this is correct yeah very good vikram so guys this is another trick this is how you can simply get the answer for any question of this kind is this clear to everyone If there is any doubt, let me know. Very good, Dilip. Very good, Ashley. Done. So this was your next trick. One more trick is there, guys. Okay. And wherever it will be possible for you to apply the tricks, you can directly get the answer for such kind of questions. Let's say any time you are having like a Hamiltonian or Lagrangian given to you. Do you know if Lagrangian does not depend on time explicitly? Explicitly means actually it is not present there. Clear? Just say ki L is equal to mx dot square plus my dot square plus or minus 2 mgy is this dependent on time explicitly kya t khud present hai yaha par actual mein as a t as we can see it's not there actually t is written no and that explicit means actual presence not derivative form no done uh to aap kahenge ki acha x dot to dx by dt hai to t to hai aise nahi actually it should be t there so in this case energy will be conserved for that system you can directly say just by looking at Lagrangian if L does not depend on time explicitly energy will be conserved is that okay so just by looking at which one Aman Aman which one But Vikram, if you will look at this thing, when I have written this statement, I have written this thing that is explicit. If I will remove this word, then you may even raise that point that yeah, it's x dot is there. But if I am writing explicit, that means if 
T is not there, we will say it's conserve. Is that okay? Indirect नहीं explicit मैंने जैसे आपको कहा कि ना T खुद यहाँ पर होना चाहिए जैसे कि यहाँ पर अगर मैं T लिख दूँ तो ये explicit dependent हो जाएगा और फिर हम कहेंगे कि अभी conserve नहीं है ठीक है तो explicitly word यहाँ पर लिखा है इसलिए जाता है ताकि हमें पता रहे कि okay this is gonna be something हाँ here x is cyclic right Ashley because x को party में entry नहीं मिली और x को party में entry नहीं मिली तो उसने makeover किया address change किया और with this this we can say crown that dot okay it has entered in the party so it's gonna be interesting story of x okay yeah yes someone for this case then what you will do you will write the hamiltonian and you can check this by considering or you can do one thing you want to know about the conserved quantity or the constant of motion clear so you can options ko through check kar sakte hai. take let's say this is capital a clear this is capital c and this is capital b so if you will check the hamiltonian of a with uh, poison bracket of a with h if it is giving you zero then you will say it's conserved and for that you have to write the hamiltonian and to write the hamiltonian you will consider this potential energy along with that you can write the kinetic energy as p square upon 2m and by checking this thing you will be able to know whatever option will give you this poison bracket zero okay that will be the constant of motion or conserved quantity but in that case you have to check for all the options one by one is that okay Aman? done or even with a uh, potential energy and Hamiltonian you can even check I think you will get a step in answer mil jayega. Theek hai, nahin, aap options ke bhi kar sakte L is constant of motion Dilip, L generally we check for uh, angular momentum so that you check differently okay it's not that L here there L is Lagrangian but whenever you have to consider for uh, angular momentum, then you will say that yeah, angular momentum is constant of motion. Is that okay guys? And every discussion which we have done in today's session, is that clear to everyone? And our next live session here will be on 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, March and 22nd, 23rd and 24th March on, uh, sorry, at 12.30 p.m. here. And on these dates, except 23rd, you will have the special classes as well. Okay. Uh, no, Dilip will not say Lagrangian in terms of energy yeah it is conserved that system is conserved clear so guys Sunday Monday Tuesday and Wednesday and in each and every class we are going to discuss something very important so uh, Muhammad Firan options we were considering as A so I have taken like this quantity as A okay so option instead of writing two terms i have taken like okay this is equal to a and i'm directly writing that expression so that's just option so guys i'm providing you the prior information about the upcoming classes so that you will not miss any of the class okay and uh, even at 10 a.m in the morning we are going to have the special classes for which you just need to do the free registration from the unacademy learning app and if you want to attend the those attend those classes you can even attend them on these dates at 10 a.m. Clear? So thank you very much everyone for joining this session. I hope each and everything is clear to everyone. Okay, whatever discussion we have done till now. But if you will have any doubt anywhere, you can let me know about it. And I hope that the sessions are helping you to get to know about all these important points. Now guys, as we have done the discussion about the Unacademy Plus subscription, so even if you want to attend the more regular live classes and you want to get the guidance by all the top educators to prepare for your upcoming exam, you can even take the Unacademy Plus subscription. And whenever you will take the subscription, you can use the referral code Anjali A Live and you can apply it to get the 10% discount in the 10, uh, total subscription amount clear or even you can write the referral code Anjali Arora any one of the referral codes you can use both will work okay and you just need to write them as it is 
apply the referral codes and get the 10% discount in the total Unacademy plus subscription amount. Also guys, there are so many benefits you will get after taking the subscription which are like this. Clear? And you are having so many courses going on on Unacademy plus right now and some will start soon. So if you want to attend all these classes, you can take the Unacademy plus subscription. And after taking the subscription, you will get the guidance by all the top educators. So which will surely help you to prepare very well for the exam done also guys here we are having some more some more information about the unacademy plus subscription you can have a look at all these important points thank you very much everyone for joining this session thank you